Hello guys, in this video we are going to discuss the major components of a staircase or the parts of staircase. And before going inside today's topic, if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be receiving a notification whenever I post my videos on civil engineering and architecture. In this video, as I already said, we will be discussing on the major components of staircase. I have tried to make it simple and if you have any doubt, just ping me up on the comments. So there are different parts of stairs having their own function. First we are going to see what is thread. The upper horizontal portion of the step over which our foot is placed during going up and down in a stairway is known as thread. The vertical member of the step is known as riser. It is used to support and connect successive treads. The vertical height between two successive treads is called a rise. So what is a step? It is a combination of tread and a riser which permits our movement for up and down from one place to another. Landing A horizontal platform between two successive flights of a stair is called landing. Landing is used as a resting place during use of stair. It facilitates the change of direction of the flight. Landing which extends for full width of the stair is known as half space landing and the landing extending for only half the width of the staircase is known as quarter space landing. Nosing It is a projection part of the thread beyond the face of the riser. Nosing is usually rounded to give good aesthetic feel to the thread and makes staircase convenient and easy to use. Going The horizontal distance between the faces of two consecutive risers is known as going of steps. Flight A continuous series of steps without any break between landings or landings and flooring is known as flight. Headroom The vertical height between the thread of one floor and the ceiling of the overhead construction is known as headroom. Headroom should be sufficient so as not to cause any difficulty to the persons using the stair. Headroom is also known as headway. Handrail It is an inclined rail provided at convenient height over balustrades. The inclination of the rail is parallel to the slope of the stairways. It serves as a guardrail and provides assistance to the users of the stair. Handrails can be molded in so many architectural forms. It also acts as a protective bar. Run The total length of the stair in horizontal plane including lengths of the landing is known as the total run of the stair. Waist The thickness of the RCC slab over which the steps of RCC rest is known as waist. These are also known as waist slabs. And that's all for this video guys. Please do like and share this video if you find it useful.